For Wall Street Media, I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hey, good morning, Mike. Good morning. We've got some more Wall Street Annals Forum stuff. 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 Yes, we do. And for anyone that's interested, you can find uh, um, you can follow the full presentations by going to wsw.com slash webcast slash WSAF number eight. First up, we have a video of Bruno Gulmart, CEO, and Robert O'Brien, interim CFO of Lattice Semiconductor Corporation, ticker LSCC. He spoke about the company's focus on building their strength by embedding non-volatile technologies, lowering power with green products, and consolidating support functions. Here we go. We are going as a, as a company. We, we are focusing on identifying and pursuing programmable logic opportunities where we have sustainable and, and differentiated market position. Uh, we have a number of, of what we call platforms uh, that uh, have a very good acceptance and traction in the market and we intend to build on our strengths. For example, uh, embedded uh, non-volatile technologies, uh, low power green products, uh, efficient service implementations and programmable mixed signal leadership. So these are the four areas where we're going to keep building on our strengths and we remain committed to providing customers, our customers, innovative products and excellent service. In, uh, we are committed to the programmable logic market. Uh, in the last year, we've shipped over 90 million FPGAs and uh, PLD products uh, around the world. Uh, in order to uh, uh, be uh, a lot better focused, uh, uh, we have um, uh, restructured uh, the, the company to uh, uh, be a lot closer to our business. Uh, we have obviously corporate functions, uh, but from a business perspective, we have two areas of focus, uh, high density solution and low density and mixed single solution. High density solution tend to be more complex products, uh, usually uh, used in the communication uh, or mainly in the communication market segments, low density and mixing solutions are used in a broader range of applications such as consumer computing, also communication. So we've, uh, I would say, put this structure in place so that we can have the proper focus, uh, increase efficiency. We have a central R&D uh, uh, function that uh, uh, service our uh, two uh, uh, high density solutions and low density and mixing solutions uh, areas of focus and manufacturing operations as I've mentioned earlier, uh, we are a fabulous company, therefore uh, this is really a, a, a supply chain, I would say, organization more than purely manufacturing as we do outsource uh, pretty much all our manufacturings to uh, uh, subcontractors uh, in Asia. So this uh, uh, organization enables us to provide the right level of, of uh, focus in, uh, in key uh, uh, market and, and applications. Well. Everyone is going green nowadays, Doc. No, everyone says they're going green nowadays. You know, I saw the <laughs> other day where they were having a big green conference in South America and everyone took a jet there. You know, right, so, that's how and, it usually is. And I assume they plugged in all their laptops there and I assume they rode cars back and forth. No one mentioned anything about that. <laughs> but as long as they, you know what, I bet they gave out a t-shirt. So they probably felt better I'm about green. themselves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, electric cars, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the chip market is a super brutal market right now. I guess there's so much competition and everybody's so afraid of the economy slowing down, right, that um, there's not so much demand, they think, maybe for PCs and the other items. Do you items think there's going to be consolidation there? In this uh, there's market? been quite a bit, but, uh, you know, some of the problems are, uh, I just saw this morning, two of the companies, ON and somebody else, backed out of interest in uh, um, Atmel Semiconductor, they, they had been trying to buy them and now they both signaled um, that they're not going to try to buy them. Maybe themselves they don't have the money anymore, the resources. To right, or may, they might not have mm -hmm. the prospects. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Well, our next video is uh, from Ted Chung, uh, VP of Business Development for Transwitch Corporation, ticker is TXCC. Discuss the objective for, pro for profitability in the first quarter of 2009. He also talks about growth in telecom and video transport for 2009 with a focus on broadband access, carrier ethernet, optical transport, and HD video transport. Here it is. Some select highlights from our last conference call, which was on November 10th. Uh, the company uh, is extremely committed to, to turning profitability as soon as possible. 
Uh, we've announced some major restructurings, both in the last earnings call and got into some of the specifics um, on, the, on the conference call as to how we will reach our objective of being profitable in the first quarter of 2009. Uh, for 2009 total OPEX, we're expecting less than $36 million for the year, or roughly $9 million per quarter, uh, which calls for profitability at roughly $15.8 million in quarterly sales at that 57% gross margin uh, figure. Uh, despite what's going on in the overall economy, uh, we are still anticipating growth in both our telecom and video transport business in 2009, uh, largely because of where many of our uh, many of our design wins uh, are in terms of uh, ramping, uh, as well as just the early stage nature of where we are in video transport. Uh, we're focusing on really just a handful of strategic areas going forward. Uh, broadband access, which is sort of the, the last mile, if you will, of communications between the central office of the carrier and customer premises. Uh, that includes both DSL as well as passive optical networking. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with PON, uh, Verizon's Fios is an example of PON services being deployed here in North America. Uh, carrier Ethernet, which is uh, Ethernet protocol being deployed in the wide area network as opposed to the local area network. Uh, optical transport, which is our, our probably our longest, most traditional business. Uh, and, and here we've developed some proprietary products that overlay uh, Ethernet protocol on top of the Sonnet SDH infrastructure uh, that has been deployed worldwide. And lastly, uh, I mentioned briefly, we, we, we've made a foray in recent years into high definition video transport. Uh, toward this end, we recently signed a, a large uh, technology deal with one of the world's leading semiconductor manufacturers. Uh, the last bullet here in terms of um, our, our, our strategic objectives, we will continue to focus on growth through acquisition. Uh, we believe uh, this, that the current market situation has um, really created some unique opportunities out there for uh, possible future growth through, through some additional uh, mergers and, and acquisitions. See, all that video, all those people watching you, you're, you're, you're making, you're helping the market HD out. HD video transport. You were looking for an HD camera all morning, right? Yeah, I found a good one. I wanted, like, the point and click one, right? Mm -hmm. And um, But I wanted to shoot nice uh, video, right? Mm -hmm. Five years ago, we had them that shot nice video. And boy, it, it's really hard, you know? I, I wonder sometimes who makes the products versus... You know what they're actually thinking Right, but thinking it wasn't of. HD back then. It's also all of these are going a step up in terms of resolution, and that makes it a lot harder in terms of software and, and hardware requirement, right? I don't think so. The ones uh, that we were looking at before were, were super high resolution many years ago, and now it, you know some of them have actually cut back where the newer models are not. Hmm. Okay, we have an old. Um, Anna what about with the Sony? Okay. <laughs> Anna Chagnon, president and CEO of Bitstream, tickers BITS, introduced their product lines, fonts and font technology for inclusion in hardware and software products uh, on an OEM basis. My fonts for buying fonts online, PageFlex publishing technologies for variable data, Web2Print and cross-media publishing, and Thunderhawk browsing technologies for mobile browsing. That's all we have for now for the Wall Street Analyst Forum. Yeah, nice turnout there, right? Oodles of companies. Lots of investors are interested in them, right? Yeah. And it's nice for me just to get some of these companies I didn't know yet. And it's nice for me to get a little bit of, like, get my toe dipped in and, and learn a little bit about them, see what management have to say. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at WSMCO.com. Thanks.